Hey everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Mario. Joining me today is... Higsby. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the Koopa Shore Sea, which is our bridge level, and it's, hey, it's, look, it's actually a bridge. <laughs> and it has dolphins! Good to know that the, uh, the Koopa Shore has plenty of dolphins for us to, uh, bask in the glory of. Mm-hmm. There we dolphins go. Dolphins are very one... underused, although, I mean, unless it's a tide level, they're kind of hard to, uh, incorporate. Also, they've just completely disappeared. <laughs> Despawn! I see that. I want to get on top of him so I can get onto the platform, but when you said dolphins are underused, on one hand, you're right, but on the other hand, I grimmed at you for that mention alone because I immediately thought, lava dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, these aren't those kind of dolphins, but still, I suppose out of all things in Super Mario World, you don't see dolphins too much. I'm willing to bet you it's because you need the exact specific tile set to be able to use them. Also, that was slick. Way to go, Mario. Yeah, the dolphins don't play well with graphics, with do you? Are typically um, like the ones used in tide levels, like those spike balls that float by, and this spiny fish guy here that no one likes. So I guess they're not too commonly available. Also, no. You can burn him, can't you? Can I? <laughs> oh, sweet! <laughs> he looks all big and tough, but one fireball and it's dead. <laughs> 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 Even charging Chuck has more defense than a fish of all things. To fire. I just fried that fish for breakfast. Would you look at that? Yummy. Oh. Here we go. We'll serve him up with some oatmeal and and maybe uh some uh some omelets too, and we'll have fish omelets if that's a real thing. Anything can be an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> and this Here we go. On our uh, way basking on the, the uh... There were pieces dolphins. of your uh, arrow missing there, likely because those coins were placed in the exact same position as they were placed in the previous room, and because we collected those coins in the previous room, it also considers them collected in this room, because you placed them from the actual kind of... Not not the direct map 16, but from the other section. So if you... Re yeah, so see? Just like that part of the arrow, it's probably because we collected coins that were placed in the exact same position in the previous room, so that's not too difficult to fix, but... But, uh, it makes your arrows look kind of oh. funky. <laughs> I never knew that. I thought that was by design. Holy cow, Higsby. Y y your Super Mario World intelligence is showing today. <laughs> it's not like you're some underground mole that just knows how to Google search. You actually know your stuff. Can we go back in the pipe? Okay, no. <laughs> I used to spend I way should... too much time with Lunar Magic. So if I theoretically make one room that's full of coins, collect them all, and then I make a second room that I enter in with pipe also full of coins, it would not be as full of coins? Yes, any coins that you collected in the previous room would be gone because the game would consider them already collected. The same applies to things like question mark blocks. If they're... Man, what's the exact term for it? Because you have the direct map 16 access. When you place things from there, it won't be remembered, but if you place them from the other one, it will be. So... You can kind of get around it by placing it from one or the other, but you can also do that in a way so that, say, someone goes into a pipe and comes back, like, the power-ups won't come back, so it's kind of interesting. The same thing applies to moons, and all that kind of stuff. I, I suppose the coin is the most common example. Also, I see a huge... Ah, no, not the bullet bill. I, I see the really um, uh, steep hills, and I just can't help but think. I, I could probably cheat these out. Or maybe not, because we're underwater, and um, cheating them out underwater. You can cheat them out when, at the end of the slope, there is a vertical wall. Okay, so this, oh, this implementation actually works. It does. Okay, it's, it's not a safe thing to be able to test these things, though, when there's a whole bunch of bullet bills just flying across <laughs> the screen like this. Did, did Lemmy Koopa get a sniper rifle again? I, I thought we killed him. <laughs> or is one of the other Koopa him. kids responsible? <laughs> one of the other Koopa kids is responsible for now using the sniper rifle on us. Every time you kill a Koopa I, I, kid, the next one wants to avenge that one's death, so it's like a never-ending cycle of a vengeance. That, that's why we always have to fight Seven. B because we, we, we take care of Iggy at the beginning, or whoever is the first Koopa Kid, <laughs> and then all of a sudden now uh, Morton wants to have revenge, and then Lemmy wants to have revenge, and then Ludwig wants to have revenge, and then um, uh, oh, the fifth one, shoot, the fifth one. Uh, the Roy? fifth one's Roy. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Roy wants revenge, and then Wendy wants revenge, and then um, uh, is it Lemmy at the end who wants revenge? I think so. I want to say so. Ha ha! <laughs> it wasn't just enough for me to remember my Koopa Kids, I had to remember the order in Super Mario World to do that. <laughs> Isn't it usually the same order? I could swear we've had this uh, had this uh, discussion before. 
is it the same order in every Mario game? Not Mario 3. Not Mario 3. But since then, maybe? I don't know. Actually, no, maybe Windy's not always 6. Maybe not. Hmm. You know, I think we have had this discussion before, and I think we came to the exact same consensus, which means neither of us have hit the books and studied. <laughs> so I, I, I'll, I'll pass the secret finding course, but I won't pass the Koopa Kids course. It's just a, an entire course specifically about the Koopa Kids. <laughs> it's about studying Koopa Kids, and you'll, you'll learn all about each of the Koopa Kids, and what they like, what they dislike, and um, uh, other interesting facts about them. I want to know who if the heck their mother is. That, that's the best question. That's the best and most debatable question. That class is a top secret. <laughs> that's top you, you secret. need to get an A. You need to get an A in the class as a prerequisite to the actual class. Koopa Kids 202, where you learn that, and no one's ever gotten an A in the class. <laughs> <laughs> so the professor never teaches it. Well, see, no one gets an A because one of the questions on the test is who is their mother, but they did they, they didn't teach that, so it's impossible to get that question right. <laughs> so they, they ask that question before you've actually taken the class where you learn it so that's that's their plan right there here's the spoiler the professor's their mother <laughs> the professor teaches the mario class so that people could actually design levels to finally defeat mario <laughs> conspiracy much <laughs> conspiracy much i like this whole like super mario world school thing we have going on here <laughs> classes for different things. I want to go to the school. Also, you have a rising and lowering tide here, so get ready for that. Oh. D does it have to have the action of rising and lowering? Uh, oh, I guess maybe it does. <laughs> also, I do not like big boos while underwater, because I could barely get past them, e e even going above shore. Holy cow. This is tricky. I probably should have been just better waiting for the tide to lower instead of trying to get past Big Boo like that. Though now because I took that shortcut, I am back where I was before power-up wise! Hooray, though now I need to wait or spin jump off of a boo. Yeah, like that! There's never really been a time in this hack when we were short for power-ups. That's true. And thank goodness for that. <laughs> I have never had this combination before either. Booze and Tide. And it, it, it works. Holy cow. Also, if, if you can hold on for a second. I mean, I know it's kind of hard. I just want to point out that you're using a mixture of floor tiles here. Where, see the ones you're standing on right now? Those are kind of like the end tiles. But then you have the ones on the right down there where there's no kind of end to it. It's, it's weird. The platforms you're using. They're not consistent. I would have never noticed this. <laughs> also, this really looks like a P-Switch location. It does. So I'll wait for the time tide to go down, and then I'll hit the P-Switch. Aha! Oh two doors to enter. Let's enter door one. Door one, I'm going to go with that's a bad door decision, because that looks really familiar. Door two. Oh! Sweet! I'll take it. So, um, once again, don't enter door one. I've made that mistake twice now. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> and there oh, we, oh. No, why did you save state? No, I was going to warn you, thinking, thinking maybe, but then, uh, yeah. It's different in one way. We, we got this pattern of booze. What if it's the same level, though? That's the question. Also, I, uh, I, I know you're normally swimming when this pattern of booze appear, but seriously, ah, this is, uh, oh gosh, ah, no, he, he appeared on top of me, no. I guess it wasn't the same room after all. It just hmm. looked familiar. I guess ghost houses always kind of do. <laughs> same background, same platforms. Oh, this is solid. Yeah, Oof. I, I don't know how I survived that, but I did. <laughs> I, I kind of need to wait for the tide. I, I really don't have any other choice. Wow. Uh, I could probably make that jump if booze weren't in the way, but booze are kind of in the way. That is, a, that is a problem. That is a big problem, actually. Ah, you're on top of me. It's unfortunate you can't spin jump on these booze, or else it would be a little easier. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm like 99% sure you can't. You're pretty sure. I'm not even going to test as this death, because I am 99% sure. It would be really useful here, I tell ya. Yeah. All these boos that are just appearing. I'm scared one's gonna just gonna pop up on top of me. I'm gonna be like, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Don't pop up on top of me. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully that question mark block is a power up. 
Okay, that boo's not killing me. That's good. That's good. Um, I don't like that position of that boo. Aha! That somehow... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That didn't work as planned. I was just like, invincibility frames! Y you're gonna have to be quick here. Frames. Because once the tide goes up, you're only gonna have a limited amount of time until it drops you on those spikes. Ah, good point. And combine that with the boo pattern here. We'll, we'll see what we get. Okay, that worked. That worked. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. So I, far, I might so have good. to jump out. Uh, oh man, go. that was uh, that. That actually worked out really well. Although this room does kind of drag on a little bit. I kind of have to wait. There's a lot of waiting in this room, and I can really just waiting. Yeah. I, I suppose you can jump on the top of the tide, but it is like the booze are right there. It's like, what am I gonna do? Like the so, you see what I mean? <laughs> I just jumped right into a boo. I just swam right into a boo. This is not a friendly room. This is one of those rooms where I wish I could bring items into it, cause it's like just drop me mushrooms, lots of mushrooms. Give me all the mushrooms, all the mushrooms. Yes. <sighs> we could really use that mushroom insurance. This is a difficult room. <laughs> oh, there we go. Whew, we have made it to 19. So yeah, that house has really flooding, by the way. <laughs> I don't think anyone pointed that out yet, but yeah, that house is a big flooding problem. Did you get that fixed? Crap. Call a plumber. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> About that. Here we go. So everything's frozen over here. Be careful. The water temperature in this area is below freezing and can cause death. Don't jump into the water. Also, so it, You can completely tell. I mean... Aside from the fact, okay, I, I guess everything looks like it's an edit of what? Whoa, okay. Of what? What level is it in in the special world? That uh, like the fourth one. I forgot yeah, its special it's name. The fourth one. I, I, we can tell you edited that level, basically. <laughs> it even has the uh, the bowl type structures here, which have not been edited in, in the slightest. Actually, you took off half the bowl and left the other half, I guess. <laughs> what would we call that bowl in Super Mario World? We call it the Super Bowl. I, I had to. As Mario and I asked to go through this frozen wasteland, do I even go down here for a Dragon Quest? Well, maybe it'll give me a mushroom too. No, they'll just get me the way out. Darn it, I almost wanted the mushroom instead, actually. <laughs> oh, we, we gotta brave our way through this instead. Here we go, I'll take this power up, and here we go. And now I'm actually prepared and ready for the journey ahead. Mar Mario, maybe if you decided to work at home instead of taking this long trek, it, it would work out a whole bunch better. <laughs> work at I'm home. Surprised what, no what kind of job do you think Mario could do from home? Uh, good question. It, it, plumbing isn't something you could do from home. That, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to think of Mario's skills. So I just like Mario's a very skilled man, but none of those skills really go well with working from home. <laughs> now that I think about it, can't be a doctor from home. Not really. Wee. Well, that's real water. Now, does this water? This water does not kill us. Ooh, I may have found super secret. Well, here's our super. Oh, um, um, um. I'll take it. Bring me back up to the surface before Rex catches up to me. Nope. <laughs> Hey, this is a legit secret, okay. Hey, and another exit. Oh, I suppose this probably is our secret exit, actually. Mm -hmm. Clever, clever. There we go. Minomar is not necessarily the best man fit to work from home, though I'm surprised there hasn't been a ROM hack that's had the story that Mari has a plumbing job and he now must go on an adventure to make it to his client's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one thing that Mario going? never does, it's plumbing, despite the fact that he's a plumber. I was hoping to get all consistent types. I've gotten two mushrooms, like, every single time we've made it into this bonus game, haven't I? <laughs> yes, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss that so much. Oh my, oh my. Oh, okay, so this, uh... Oh, well, what do you know? Koopa Shore's secret back in the... Previous world. I was going okay. to say, I didn't think we went up there, although I thought maybe I was just having a brain derp, but no, I guess I was right. 
Well, this, uh, we're, we're now in a super fancy forest, and what is this question about block passes? Find grats on finding the secret eggs and leanest level. However, this level is not finished. Wait until next time. Uh-oh, spaghetti as well. That was an easy level. <laughs> that was an easy level. <laughs> Free exit. Free exit. I will, I, I will take it. That way we don't have to drive, um, or do some fancy, uh, jumping stuff to make it through there. <laughs> Thank you for the nice oh, message yeah. block informing us of, uh, us of what's going on. If there's one thing I do have to say, it's that your message blocks and just overall the text in this game has been very good. It's not like some people's first hacks, which are just for some reason very frequently ridden with typos. So uh, you did a good job on that. Watch, the final good, good The point. final message will probably just be like 50 typos. Con <laughs> Congratulations, you have completed a great game and proved the justice of our culture. One of those? <laughs> One of those, no, but uh, basically, good, good job on the text boxes. But, uh, yeah, typos in Super Mario World messages, is that just because there's no spell check in uh, Lunar Magic? Also, I totally just died. Wow, holy cow. Yeah, there, there's no spell check. I think just the, the font is dumb, and you just don't realize when words are spelled wrong. <laughs> Fair point, yes. Super Mario World's font is dumb. We must apply the patch that gives the game a much more readable font. I want all of my Super Mario World messages in Times New Roman. This is a requirement on your Super Mario World lab for your Super Mario World class. <gasps> if you, if you can fit Roman. Times New Roman into 8x8 uh, eight eight pixels, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> is that how the font works in Super Mario World? 8x8 eight eight pixels? Yes. Oh gosh, okay, Times New Roman might be a little difficult is what I'm trying to say then. <laughs> Here we go, down the Super Bowl that we go. Well then, you know, I'm gonna stick my world and say you need to hack Times New Roman to Super Mario World somehow. Do it. <laughs> and I have just saw, caused some kid to go on a manianic search and binary hex set as his way to be able to somehow hack the uh, font into the screen. Be careful if you find any water. It is still freezing. It can still cause death. Instantaneous death. We don't, we don't even see Mario just freezing. You just kind of just go, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Don't see these bridges used too often. Oh gosh, but that no, I need that. Thank you. Also, I need to like survive. Thank you. I and, probably missed a whole bunch of things. And those bridges weren't used very frequently in the in the real game. Pretty much just the um whatever it was called. It's not way cool, is it? I don't. It think might it's be cool. actually. Is it? It's um, the fourth one. I know that. Yeah, the fourth one. I mean, the bridges were used in that level. I'm trying to remember any other level that they were used in, and I can't. <laughs> I don't think so. The, the game pushed my mushroom away. Ah! That was a bad, bad, bad jump, Miles Luigi. You, you need to learn to jump better. This is a game where you jump. Also, I enabled the freeze frame, and I have to remember how to <laughs> Since evil Pop-Tart's not here, I'll have to do it. Push the jump button, Miles Luigi! Push it! What button is it to resume playback after you hit freeze frame? Uh oh. I forgot. I completely forgot. Technical difficulty. There's a button. There's a button for this. Either, either that or I could just choose to save state. Quit. <laughs> ZSNES. Load. Load. Oh. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Oh, that works. <laughs> I know there's a button that freeze frames and stops the freeze frame. I completely forgot what that button was, though. I, I should have taken ZSNES insurance, or maybe the ZSNES class. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a class in every single emulator in our Super Mario World school? Probably. Or, or would it just be one class for all of them? I don't know. I guess the, the, the Maybe PS it would be one class for all of them. I just imagine, like, massive wars breaking up between the ZSNES and the BSNES kids. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna SNES. comment that the I was gonna comment that ZSNES is probably just one link wrong, but BSNES is eight weeks long. <laughs> <laughs> you spend one week just learning about ZSNES or ZSNES, and you spend eight weeks learning BSNES, <laughs> and like the instructor tries to tell you it's superior in every way, but everyone in the class is like, "Well, ZSNES is so much easier, and lo look at this, like it just works." <laughs> Also, I'm sorry for infecting use... your videos with my Canadian-ness. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who got me to say Zed. 
I, I didn't even know Zed was a thing for until I actually knew you, actually. <laughs> I know people usually just call it Zsnes or something like that, but I always call it ZSNES. Zsnes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, emulators are stupid. Anyway, SNES 9X takes four weeks, and then like an extra week is spent on making your own emulator. Ooh, I want to learn that. <laughs> you only learn how to make basic construction sets. <laughs> Extra credit if you can somehow make the Super Mario World on launch and get each of the Nintendo percents, but it's okay to crash after that. <laughs> it's okay if you crash after that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Next time, and probably the final time on Legacy of Mario, we're going to take care of the Koopa Shores, everyone. Um, this is Miles Luigi. And Higsby. See you then.